Okay, YouTubers, this is The Angry Prepper. So today's video, we're gonna talk about de-escalation training in New York City. So now, I'm leaving this video on the Prepper channel because we're gonna talk about de-escalation, how it involves preppers, or at least people in New York getting ready for the crime wave that's gonna hit. So, yesterday, I thought it would be funny to join a de-escalation Zoom meeting. So AOC wants to defund the cops and they want people of New York to intervene more. So to do that, you they want you to take a de-escalation training. That was a Zoom meeting. Let me tell you, it was the worst, stupid, fucking moronic thing I've ever been on in my entire life. My brain cells were melting. I think I was bleeding out of my fucking nose by the end of it and I was only on for 10 minutes. God knows if I fucking hung in there for the whole thing, I'd have probably been dead. Keep in mind, I was listening to the Zoom meeting and the shit that was being said in here was the most unrealistic shit in the world. You know what? They might as well have said, dress up like Superman and stand in front of a fucking gun. That's what they were probably getting at. Guys, irresponsible is not even a fucking word. It was liberals trying to tell you how to de-escalate a situation that you see happening. You see a guy that's mad, agitated, how to walk up to him and like read his body language. Now you, 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 they want you to do, they want you to do all of this over a Zoom meeting. That's one, that was mistake number one. Mistake number two, this takes, de-escalation training takes weeks to uh, master, if you will, or study, because there's a lot that goes into it. A Zoom meeting doesn't cover it. Half the shit they were saying was stupid. They were like, if the person's too agitated, just step back, monitor them, and then, you know, read their body language to see if they're calming down. I'm like, what the fuck? Stupid. Then he had an Asian lady on it. So this lady's talking about patience. This lady was talking about What's going on in the Asian community? How they getting beat up? I'm like, all right. So she's going on. And then she goes, well, you know what else you can't say? You can't call the COVID, uh, the COVID virus, the Chinese virus, because that's racist, or the China virus, because it's racist. I'm like, bitch. They call the Brazilian variant the Brazilian variant, and the UK variant the UK variant. The COVID nineteen came out of China, is what makes it a Chinese variant or a Chinese virus, whatever you want to call it. It's not racist. You're just calling it what it is. You can call the variants from other places, but that's fine. You call it Chinese and it's racist. So she sort of made that portion of the de-escalation training about herself and her people, as opposed to being all of New York. That being said, guys, I think that's when my nose started to bleed. I was like, and I'm pretty sure I got stupider as the minutes went by. I was like, who the fuck? What? I mean, like, there was no hands-on. There was not like, yo, if you got to get into it, you know, first of all, citizens should not be getting involved in violent crimes. They should not be trying to de-escalate shit. Cops go to training for months for this kind of shit. They don't take a Zoom meeting and go, I think I got this. The next fight I see, I'm going to go and handle it. No, it's months of training. You have to sit there and have actual interactions with people to do a de-escalation training you cannot do it over zoom i don't give a fuck how good of a teacher you are you have to have people standing in front of each other and going through the motions now de-escalation de-escalation training is stupid as fuck but if you're going to do this kind of training if you're going to pretend to help you at least have to do it in person. You have to gauge what body language looks like. You can't do it sitting in a fucking chair as a talking head, like I am now. You have to fucking be there. So these idiots are giving this course, and like I said, guys, I thought it would be a joke. Me and another guy at the firehouse, were reading the article, we're laughing at AOC and her stupidness. So as we're laughing about it, he goes, man, wouldn't that be funny if you did this as a, as a, a video? And I go, you know what, that's a good idea. So I, I sign up for the class, and they remind me that the class is happening in 10 minutes. I go, oh, let me log in. Let's see how stupid this is. Instantaneously, I was stupid. 
I was stupid as soon as it said one second. I was like, what the fuck am I into? Why, why am I doing this? My day is fucking ruined. Am I stupid? Where am I going? I forgot where the fuck I was going. I forgot where the day was. I'm pretty sure I forgot the president of the United States was. I was like, how much more stupid? I felt like Biden. I felt like Biden by the end of this thing. I felt so stupid and incompetent. I was like, why did I do this to myself? Guys, it was whore fucking horrendous. It was stupid. And so I can't imagine the other states that are doing this shit. I can't. I, do not take de-escalation training. Take actual hand-to-hand -hand fighting styles. Whether that's Taekwondo, Jiu Jitsu, Kav Magra, something that's going to get you out of a fight, something that's going to get you in and out. You're not going to sit there and go, dude, listen, I love you too, man. Hugs. And, you know, that doesn't fucking work. It doesn't work. It doesn't sit there and go, you, you, you're not a negotiator. And a negotiator can de escalate the situation. Negotiators spend months, if not years, learning how to de escalate a situation. Right, so it's not just the time they're in negotiation school or whatever it's called. It's years of, of actually doing it as well. And yet, they spend months and years doing this shit. You're not going to have a Zoom meeting and then walk outside and go, I got this argument. I can disperse this crowd right now by my de-escalation training. you probably get a silly ass fucking stupid gay certificate at the end of the shit right with a fucking pink flower in the corner and a rainbow flag on the other side and a fucking black lives matter logo at the bottom of the fucking thing who the fuck knows but it was fucking stupid can i say stupid again or did i say it fucking enough that you guys get it it was fucking stupid I've never seen anything like it i'd never heard anything like it it i'd rather listen to Rosie O'Donnell scream like a pig at a high-pitched volume then listen to that again and that's how bad it was I'd rather watch the fucking view with forks in my eyes than watch that video again that's how bad and how stupid it was it was just unfucking realistic now some people sit there and say well you should have stood through the whole thing and stayed the whole time I couldn't because I'm pretty sure I was having a stroke by my, my tenth minute and took all my brain power to fucking leave the fucking meeting. It was fucking bad. So now they don't want you to fight. They want you to de-escalate the situation. Criminals don't respect de-escalation. Only until they're in a corner. And then it works. It's why hostage negotiators are good at what they do. Because they can de-escalate that situation. You can't do that. It takes fucking practice. And you have to have a knack for it as well. Not everybody can be a hostage negotiator. The hostage negotiators are de-escalators. That's what they do. They de-escalate the situation. You can't just run in there and, and take a, a Zoom course. It was horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible is not the fucking word. It's, there's got to be another word that's fucking worse than horrible. It was fucking Biden. That's what it was. It was fucking horrendous. So... Don't take the de-escalation course. If anybody walks up to you and gives you a pamphlet and says, hey, you want to take this de-escalation course? Cram that pamphlet down their fucking throat or up their ass. However you fucking choose. It is stupid. Now, is this fucking uh, prepper related? Yes. Preppers do not take fucking de-escalation training. Take actual hand-to-hand -hand fighting styles or take a, a self-defense course. Just a basic self-defense course. Basic, like I said before, I said this a million times, take a basic self-defense course getting you out of the situation self-defense courses will also teach you how to use a taser they will also teach you how to use mace use your keys right hit the balls when you ladies you kick the balls you kick it like you're trying to kick a soccer ball to a field goal you kick a guy's balls like you're gonna follow through up to his chin that's how you kick you don't kick the balls in like a little tap you don't go no you fucking kick like you're fucking trying to follow up into his fucking heart when you're kicking a guy in the balls, right? Especially with the knee. If you're gonna knee him in the balls, knee him like you're gonna go through his fucking nutsack, not a tap, right? That's one of the, there's like one little tactic I can give you from that. Uh, elbow guys, elbow strikes and shit like that. You're going through the motherfucker's face, not like tapping his shit. Like you're following through with the fucking whole torque of the hip and waist and boom, straight through. These are fucking things you wanna do. These are realistic shit. You're not about to get raped and go, wait a minute, I took a de-escalation course. So let's see if we could de-escalate this situation from me getting raped. It doesn't work. The only thing criminals understands is boot in the ass and fist in the face. That's it. 
All right. Now, obviously, if a guy is in a bad spot and he's about to jump off a bridge, maybe that's where the de-escalation course might work. Might. Very, very tiny might. Or maybe you dumbed him down with your de-escalation training so much that he falls off the fucking bridge anyway because you gave him a stroke from that stupidity. Nonetheless, guys, horrendous. Horrendous, horrendous, horrendous. Don't take it. Take an actual self-defense course. Learn how to use a mace. Learn how to use fucking your keys. Learn how to use a taser. Learn how to use your hands, your knees, headbutt. Learn how to use that shit. Don't fucking sit there and be stupid and take a de-escalation training course. Whatever. I don't. Done. Anyway, guys, this is the Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching. You can like, subscribe to this channel. You can also follow me on Instagram, Facebook. You see, I had a fucking stroke. Fuck that shit. Later.